a controversial lost tectonic plate may have been discovered by geologists. This has to do with the west coast of Canada, United States. Geologists agree that about 60 million years ago, the Farallon and the Kula tectonic plates covered a huge area of Earth's surface across the Pacific Ocean. The Kula is just north of the Farallon plate. But there's debate about whether a third plate existed called Resurrection Plate. Now researchers at the University of Houston think they may have found the remains of resurrection and that is hiding under northern Canada. Northern Canada meaning, of course, also Alaska at the Aleutian Trench area where we had the uh, huge earthquake of 7.6 magnitude a couple of days, two days ago. And we're still having earthquakes ongoing, huge aftershocks, about 5 magnitude. Kindly support my Patreon account because YouTube has again demonetized my channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Okay, so here you have the Kula and Resurrection plate. The joining of that Kula resurrection is where we had the 7.6 magnitude earthquake two days ago. And you can see it's lodged between northern Canada and Alaska. This is the lost, unknown, and newly discovered tectonic plate. It's lodged between Kula and Farallon. As you can see, the Farallon is what's subducting underneath the west coast of the United States all the way up to Yellowstone. So this is what they found. Now, this is not the first time that scientists found signs of the existence of the Resurrection Plate, named after the Resurrection Peninsula near Seaward in Alaska, but so far the evidence has been less than conclusive. But in this case, the researchers analyzed mantle topography images, which work like TC scans of our Earth. They were combined with a process known as slab unfolding, using 3D mapping to roll back the place transformations to bring back its original shape. As we said, this was uh, uh, agreed that 60 million years ago, this Farallon and Kula plates covered the vast area of Earth's surface across the Pacific Ocean. Now the animation, there's an animation here in the uh, article I'll leave below for you, showing the reconstruction of plate tectonics from 60 million years ago to today, how they've been taking place. When raised back to the Earth's surface and reconstructed, the boundaries of this ancient resurrection tectonic plate match well with the ancient volcanic belts in Washington State and Alaska, providing a much sought after link between the ancient Pacific Ocean and the North American geologic record. This is what uh, geologist Johnny Wu explains from the University of Houston, as well as solving a tectonic mystery 60 million years in the making. The discovery could help in the modern day by identifying mineral and hydrocarbon deposits and help improve the accuracy of volcanic modeling. Wu says volcanoes from a plate the, at form at, at plate boundaries, the subduction areas that we have, of course, uh, very well not along Alaska and uh, Canada and the, United, and the United States on the west coast and more plates you have the more plates you have the more volcanoes you have who says volcanoes also affect climate change so when you're trying to model the earth and understand how climate has changed since time you really want to know how many volcanoes there have been on earth there remains plenty to discover about the tectonic history of the planet Recent studies looking at the issues of the time scale for this geological evolution and how these tectonic plates developed uh, would develop in the first uh, have developed in the first place. Of course, this shifting and sliding and subducting of plates still continues on the surface of the planet today. Researchers identify major place activity under the Atlantic Ocean and, of course, in the northwestern United States. We know that the Farallon plate is lodged underneath the west coast and. The edge of it uh, pushes the magma all the way into Yellowstone. Now, according to the researchers' calculations, the edges of what they say is the resurrection plate match up with well-known areas of volcanic activity 
uh, giving rise to the idea that the plate remain remnants spotted under northern Canada are indeed the resurrection plate. This was published in GSA Bulletin and uh, researched by University of Houston by Daniel uh, David Need on Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.